everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss what is a full stack software engineer. My goal for this video is to provide you with some useful information. And if you feel like you've gotten any, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. Okay, full stack software engineer, full stack dev, full stack developer. This is my wheelhouse. This is something that I've been doing for the last seven years. Um, and it's close to my heart, you know? I feel like it changes it up a little. But essentially what it is, is this. So I made a video on front end, I made a video on back end. Now I'm gonna, it's basically the combination of the two. It's the marrying of the two. But for the purpose of this video, I consider front end to be this. HTML, so it's hypertext markup language. It's essentially the structure of the web page. It's that way the browser can interpret it and say, hey, this is the structure. This is where the heading and the title should go. This is where the body should go. This is where the footer of the page should be. And the next thing is CSS, cascading style sheets. This is essentially the aesthetics of the page. Hey, I want to add this color here. Hey, I want to add this typography here. I want to position these things on the page in this certain way. If the browser gets smaller, I want to respond to it accordingly, appropriate to the size, and change the elements around. Um, hey, I want an animation. If I hover over this text, I want it to bounce. I want it to um, change a different color, things like that. And then we have JavaScript. JavaScript is the real meat of it. JavaScript is the programming of the front end. And you could also use it on the server side too, the back end. But for this purpose on the front end, JavaScript is the programming language. Say you submit a form, right? You want a registration form. You submit a registration form. Hey, let's validate each one of these inputs. Were they filled out properly? If not, let's throw an error. Let's show the user this error. This is what JavaScript is doing, right? It's also going to take that form information, package it up, and then send it off to the backend, send it off to the server. Well, this is where the next part comes in. The backend. Let's go ahead and create the route slash register, right? AKA API, application programming interface. Let's grab this data. Let's manipulate this data or massage it into the format that we need. Let's validate it. Let's make sure it's okay on the server as well, because if it's not, we're not going to insert it into the database. What if something malicious was being passed from the front end to the back end? We don't want to insert this into the database. So let's add that additional layer of security. Let's create the model, which is essentially modeling the data. So if we have user registration form, we're going to get the first name, last name, email address, uh, phone number. Um, and let's go ahead and package this up in a way that the database table will expect it. So we have the users table. Let's go ahead and insert that record into the um, users table. Hey, later on, we need to retrieve this user information when they're trying to log in. Let's retrieve this record. Let's update the record if they go to their account settings page and they want to change their phone number. And it's things like that. So that's essentially the, the grand scheme of it. That's essentially the big picture of it, right, of what's going on. But there's a lot of tiny little things uh, that are going on also. Um, you could get into more devops -y stuff, so you could start playing around with DevOps on the back end, which would be st stuff like Docker, Kubernetes, maybe playing around with AWS, maybe playing around with Azure, learning how to host, maybe setting up infrastructure for different things. Um, so that's what that is. There can be a little bit of crossover between back end engineering and getting into the DevOps side of things, which is also encapsulated within backend engineering. So check out my backend um, engineer video, as well as the front end that I've made, if you want a little more of the specifics. But high level, this is what a full stack software engineer does. If you have any questions at all on this video, feel free to drop them down below, and I guarantee you I will reply to you. I've replied to every single comment posted on my entire channel so far, and I don't intend on stopping anytime soon. So remember, if you've gotten any value out of this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. Until next time, see you all later.